Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth Nunez. If you guys are new in my channel, welcome. Today is going to be a very special video. I'm going to be filming a video of how to make mango and also a recipe collaboration. Mango, it is a traditional dish from the Dominican Republic where I was born. Like I said, I'm going to be making a recipe collaboration with one of my YouTuber friends. Her name is Clouded by L. Please go check out her content. She got really good videos and I'm sure you guys are going to love her channel. I'm going to let her introduce herself right now. Hi guys, welcome to this collab. I'm so honored to be doing a collab with the beautiful Elizabeth Nunez. I'm Clouded by L. I'm a stay-at-home mom of three under three. And I also post motherhood, cooking, cleaning, renovations, plus more. Anything motherhood or family, I post it. So if you love Elizabeth's content, I'm pretty sure you'll like mine as well. So today for the collab, I'll be making honey glazed chicken, zucchini and onions over fried rice. So if it sounds yummy, head over and check me out and please don't forget to subscribe. So, and also, if you guys are coming from her channel, welcome. I would love to have you guys as part of my YouTube family and that you guys enjoy my videos and that my videos will help you out as well. But yeah, um, let's get started with the video. I hope you guys enjoy and thank you so much for watching. All right, so these are the ingredients that we need, pretty, pretty basic. And always remember that use the amount of things that you need for your family size or as many pe for the people, the amount of people that you would be cooking for. I'm going to be cooking for my family and also my family next door. That's why I'm making a lot. So obviously we're going to need our green plantains, our frying salami. I'm going to need frying cheese. We're going to need a red onion. You could also use white, but this is the most, the better one. Red onion, and we're going to need butter, eggs, salt, uh, olive oil, vinegar and frying oil so let's go ahead and start with our first step all right so for the first step that we're going to do we are going to um, put water to boil on our cooking fat then we're going to put the water to boil while we peel our green plantains if I'm not ready. okay once we have our water ready we're going to make sure you put your temperature on your stove on high and then we're just going to cover it Then we're just going to cover it until it's, the water is boiling. And now we're gonna go ahead and peel our green plantains. You take your time. This is how I cut it. It doesn't come up perfect, but. Okay, when when you peel your plantains and they look like this, like they have these little black lines, what you can do to remove them with your knife, just go like this. This and it comes out. Okay, now that my platanos are cleaned up and polished, like I say, I'm going to cut them in half. So once you cut them, go ahead and put them in a container and put some water on them, rinse them. Okay, now that my water is boiling, I'm going to add my protein. Just gotta be careful when you put them because the water is very hot. You gotta be 
After that, I'm just going to add some salt to taste. You add as much salt as you think it needs. If I know it needs a lot because a lot of plants in it. Using a metal cook pan, you want to use a wood spoon so that it doesn't scratch the metal from the bottom when you move it. Put it around a little so you can spread the salt. I'm just going to cover it and leave it a little open. I'll cover it all the way. Okay, so for the next step, I'm going to start cutting up the cheese, the salami, and the onions. After I cut the cheese, I'll go ahead and cut my salami. Okay, now to prepare my onion, I'm going to be using olive oil, salt, and vinegar. First, I'm going to cut it in like round pieces. Okay, now that the onion is peeled, we're gonna cut it in like this way, round pieces. Once I cut my onions, they're gonna look like this, and I try to separate them, because it's like, like this. I separate them. Okay, once I do that, I'm going to add my toppings, my ingredients. So we're going to add um, a nice amount of vinegar. Uh, I'm only going to add, fill that up and only one. You don't need that much. And then some salt to taste. Alright you guys, the green plantains are ready. Once they look like this, see, they don't look like they looked before. That means they are ready. And don't worry if your plantains have let me see, those black stuff. You see that? Once you smash them, it you it comes off, and then you could take you just take it right out. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to throw out the water from the plantains, nice and easy, because the water is very hot. Okay, so to smash the plantain and make them mango, you're going to need your smasher, uh, one of these, to hold on your pack because it's hot. We're going to need some salt butter and cold water we're going to add cold water so that the plantains once they are smashed they don't get hard so you definitely need cold water not hot water first we're just going to smash it that I'm running out of So once you feel that they are like 80% smashed Go ahead and add some salt. First, taste it. If it needs salt, add some. Might need some salt. I'm going to add some salt and the butter. butter.
just make sure that when you keep smashing them in, you can move it around to take like whatever stuff in the bottom to blend everything together and smash everything again so that it can be nice and soft and you don't have like the hard ones there, little pieces. So I have a lot, so it's more work for me. But if you have a smaller amount, it's easier and faster. Just, I'm just going to continue smashing them until I'm all done. Okay, the mango is 100% smashed. It's nice and soft. And make sure you taste it before you finish it to make sure it tastes, you know, it has nice, good flavor and that it's nice and soft. Now let's go ahead and start frying our step. I like to always put on an apron because I'm going to be frying. And I don't like to get my clothes dirty with oil. So I'm going to start with the French. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the temperature on high so that whatever water is there dries up. Meantime, I'm going to get my cheese ready. And one of these. Always make sure when you're frying, especially cheese and salami, have one of these. A plate with some banti on top so that when you finish and put it here the oil the banti is up in the oil now i'm just gonna add fried oil vegetable oil because I'll fit more salamis than, than the other one. I'm going to go ahead and add the I like mine burn. You wanna go ahead and open it. Make sure you flip them. So you get a nice color. This salami is already cooked. They um they smoke it I believe. All you have to do is fry it. the last step we're going to cook our onions the onions just be very careful I don't have the heat on yet because this can throw a lot of um, smoke Once I put them there, I'm gonna turn on the fire of the heat. And I'll throw the, the vinegar and everything like that. And then I just let it cook. All right, so once you see that your onions start looking like this, that it looks soft, that means they are ready. Thanks for watching. This is the final look of the mango. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that this video gave you guys some ideas on how to make mango. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.